you can live your life you can enjoy your life share parts of your life on social media and still keep the important part of your life another episode of the survival please make sure you feel comfortable join the family we are cool nice awesome joyful people here so i'm wishing everyone all the new subscribers welcome so just like just like the topic suggests i'm going to be talking about the power of silence and how to be a private person basically just talk about privacy in general right Privacy is power. What people don't know, they cannot spoil. And the moment you lose your privacy, it's like you've lost something valuable. Being private does not actually mean that you are going to shut yourself out of the world like you don't even exist. It's just basically making people see what they want to see or what they, you feel they should see and keeping the rest to yourself. You give people what they want to see, you allow them to see what they want to see and you keep the rest to yourself. We are in a digital era where everybody's posting something, everybody's sharing something. One way or the other, we have a lot of influencers around. And whether you like it or not, even if you are posting quotes on WhatsApp, you're influencing, people are learning, people are taking something away from you. So whether you're a big influencer or not, in a small way, you are also influencing. So, you know, especially in this digital era, we have to be careful what we actually post out there now that will bring me to misconceptions about privacy like i said the fact that you are private does not mean you don't post on social media some people can post like 10 times in a day and you don't even know anything about them <laughs> i know some people on this table i know people that they constantly post and you feel like you're a part of their life and you don't even know jack about them you don't know jack about what is going on in their life we have celebrities now who, are, who were pregnant and somehow they've even given birth to the baby before they posted um, baby bump and all of that. So, you know, the fact that people post on social media does not mean that they are putting their lives out there. Sometimes some people even post things that have happened to them like months ago or even years ago. They'll be posting it now and be feeling like, ah, she's sharing too much. Something that the person has long gone past. My point basically is that people can post all day on social media and they are living a life you know absolutely nothing about. So the fact that people post does not mean that you have access to their life. You can live your life, you can enjoy your life, share parts of your life on social media and still keep the important part of your life. I know friends and I have friends that you know do that a lot of times my friend and I we meet up we have good conversation we go for outings you know we have like beautiful moments together that we don't even get to share on social media right sometimes when I share some things it's something that has happened like months before you know it's basically you know you we have to be wise in this age of um, technology and all of that because there is this entitlement that people tend to have when they you they sometimes feel like they have access to you. Social media is so bad that people even tend to judge how well you are doing, you know, what is going on with your life, with the things you post. I recently spoke to a friend who said, oh, I see your post on social media, you are doing well, you are doing fine. And I was like, really? You don't even know what is going on with me. You cannot judge people based on what they post. People would only, they will make you see what they want you to see, right? That's, that's the truth. That is the truth. You can have a private life and still be public. I think I belong to that category. You can have a private life and still be public. You network, you go out, you connect, you do all of that. But you still have that part of you that you're not sharing with anybody part of you that is just for you it's just for your consumption it's just for you know it, it's 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 a part of you that the world does not get to see it's basically for you you know you can be all over the place right and still be private another misconception is that you don't have to lock yourself inside it's before you become you are a private person you can post beautiful pictures you can share memories you know and all of that and still be a private person most times we even sometimes judge people by the posts they put up for example there was a time you know there are some posts that you see that you just resonate with and then you share on your story or you share on your whatsapp 
or wherever and then people just assume something is going on with you and you start getting messages like what's up are you okay why are you posting something like that like what gives you the like why do people actually assume right why do you assume that because i am posting this that is what is going on with me that sometimes i just post because i like the quotes that is not what is happening with me right social media has taken a like i can't but mention social media because gonna i i saw a post recently about where we were using nokia 3310 all these small small nokia phones where people don't even get to post picture or any, anything we survived we see people we enjoy valuable relationship we spend time with our family so how can you be private right for there's actually power in privacy like i said what people don't know they cannot spoil there are cases where you see um celebrity friends maybe they've not been sharing each other's picture or the one did not like someone's picture and then you see bloggers saying these people are fighting something's going on with them and these are people that probably met a night before had a beautiful dinner conversation took pictures but decided not to share do you get but because maybe before time they're always sharing on social media you know all of that so when they exercise a bit of privacy people just create the story for them they just assume that this is what is going on with this person ah this person is not with this person again this person has unfollowed this person so, you know sometimes i wonder that who like do you people sit down on people's page and just monitor their lives like Recently, I, I'm sure when I share this story, some of us will know what I'm talking about. There was something that happened recently. Someone unfollowed, someone that has over 20 million followers. 20, let's say someone else. The person unfollowed two people. And bloggers shared that this person has unfollowed two people. They even mentioned the two people that this person has unfollowed. They shared before and after. And I was wondering, did you people screenshot this? Did you know something like this will happen? Abby? Did you know something like this will happen? How did you know that this person was going to... How did you even screenshot it before? Like, do you people go around on people's page and just screenshot? <laughs> I mean, this is, these are things I just think about. Uh, let me just dwell into how to, be, how to live a private life, right? let's just get into it i've talked about the misconceptions enough first thing first what do you want to share what part of your life do you want to share what message do you want to pass like when people meet you or when people come across your page you know i don't even want to base this on it's looking like i'm basing uh, this is based on more on a um, digital platform but that's like the only way we really really show everything to the world right <laughs> we can't we can't possibly go on radio i'm saying this is what is going on with me it's the only medium or yeah the medium we use is social media right so what exactly do you stand for what do you want people to see what do you what part of you do you want people to see you need to state that right that will help you to know what to put and what not to put some people are lifestyle bloggers and everything is content to them if you are not cashing out on social media even people that are lifestyle blogger they are strategic about it you can be a lifestyle blogger and you know you still keep a part of yourself the important part of yourself to yourself do not talk about your personal life on social media some people just don't wish you well you know the thing about sharing some things is that some people's energy comes with negativity Sometimes it's not even about the sharing, it's about the people getting the news. Some people, because they don't have what you have, they are not just happy for you. And they are wishing that this thing is not happening to you. You know, some people are saying in their mind, oh, is it just this person? Because you are always quick to come out and share something. You are always quick to come out and share something. So some people's energy, the negative energy they have, the kind of vibe they carry will just work against you. And if you are not careful, you might not even achieve or that thing might not even last. Some of us, we see all these trolls now. For no reason, they'll just see something nice like this and be... They are just joy spoilers. There are some people like that. They are joy spoilers. Once, once they see good things like this, they are ready to spoil it. Because they don't have it. 
because they want it and it's like someone is living the life they want someone is living the life they imagine they they could live so they are ready to spoil it like look at the life that i want i can't have it and you're living it and you know it's like no it sh this shouldn't be happen so they are quick to spoil people's joy they are quick to abuse people they are quick to uh, throw people's body they are quick to once you start posting about your life basically you sign up for that so that precious part of your life should be kept for you so that joy spoilers do not spoil it am i talking to somebody <laughs> So that over the, over the years, over time, I've learned to really, really spend time with myself. It's, it's, I feel like every time I do that, I, there's something new that I learn about myself. Now, there are some people that they don't even know how to spend time with themselves. They don't know how to really, really sit down with themselves and talk to themselves, have like sincere conversation with themselves. This kind of person that when something happens to me, I'm quick to call the next, next person. Oh, this just happened. I just want to share. I just want to share. I'm quick to share. I, you can basically call me an oversharer if there's any word like that. There are people like that. And I, I had a conversation with my friend and she was like, she, she said it. She said, I think that sometimes you just need to, you know, assimilate all of this, all of these things, take it in, process it, think about them yourself. You know come to a resolution sit down with it it's not all the time that you share your happenings and you just want to get people's opinion about the other thing is that don't ask people do not ask people about their private life what you cannot take do not give it out so this thing puts you in a place where you have to share whether you like it or not you will have to share so what you don't even what, what you don't want people to know about you is what time you don't don't prognose into people's matter because if you prognose into people's matter be ready to also give your own out so guys in this digital era privacy must be a priority so that we will not be lost we will not be missing or will not find ourselves lost in the midst of all these evolution digitalization is very important let's make privacy a priority right in private we also protect you from energy vampires like i said some people are out there to suck your blood they are out there to suck all the positive energy in your bones and in your marrows energy vampires they are all over the place waiting for energy that they will suck so you have to be very careful and privacy is needed so that they will not suck your energy what they don't know <laughs> i'm going to end with this uh with this point if your own life is out there then there is actually nothing precious to you that will bring us to the end of this video please like this video make sure you subscribe too subscription is free guys subscribe subscribe and join the family I'll see you guys next time on another episode of The Survivor. Catch all the beautiful, beautiful episodes I've had. Binge watch. Bye.